Watch this crazy. Nay love. <laughs> Nay love, where are you calling me from? Fresno. Fresno, okay. How old are you? I'm 32. I'll be 33 in August. Nayla, <laughs> Fresno, 32. So you are a Leo or a Virgo? Yeah, I'm a Leo. Do you have any kids? I do. I have twins that's nine, a daughter that's... Uh... No, my twins is 10. My daughter... I'm about to say she had twins that's nine, a daughter that... Like, nine, <laughs> and then confused. I have a two-year-old. Okay. So four kids. I do. Okay. All by the same man? Um, no, my first kid's uh, father, he was murdered. Sorry. So, 2017. Yeah. So. so how, many yeah. Men, how, many <laughs> men, how many men do you have kids um, by now? Well, the first three is by one. Okay. And then my my two-year-old is by one. So okay, two. so two men. Yeah. Sorry about your first kid's dad. Why are yeah. you not with the man you had a baby with two years ago? He owed, and I was tripping. He's what? He owed, like, he, um, he ain't mine, shit. Was <laughs> he ever yours, mine. or no? Um, no, I was just, like, from my first kid, father, you know, I was just, like, going through it a lot. And, um, turning up too much. And, um, uh, yeah. And it happened. And this is the problem, right? These chicks turning up too much and it happened. What I like about what she's doing, though, is she's holding accountability. What do you think about that, Rick? Yeah, she's holding accountability. It's unfortunate, though. That she's bringing a child into this world with that accountability, right? Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then now with uh, social media, he has to sit here and this may come up again like, oh, that's mommy. <laughs> you know? That's, so that's mommy. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Mm. That's mommy. Wow. And I kept my baby. Coming to find out he had a whole baby mama pregnant with that baby and 10 more other kids and my baby's a secret and he ain't in his life. He's a Debbie. Like, it's just weird. Like, the baby did something to him. But, yeah. He 50, what, four? How? <laughs> yeah, he's 54. He's my mom's age. He was my mom's oh, friend. So he's 54. That's his mom's friend. She had a baby with him. Yo, I see your face, Link. You, you look like you smell shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> That's it's a mess, and, and and you know once you once your life is messed up like that, how do you fix it? You know, do you become an undesirable? You know, at that point. So that's what I'm looking at. Is there is there right. any more chances for her out there? You know, now that all this has been displayed, laid out on the table, she's done, right. huh? Right. She's cooked. It's over. It's over. It's Damn. Over. Yeah. yeah. After grieving and going through everything I was going through and still going through, because it never gets old. <coughs> you know? Okay. Uh, I mean, I did what I did. And I mean, my, my son, he here, he mine. I take care of all four of mine by myself, so I'm not looking for no help. Yeah. Okay. I got a question. How does your mom feel about her friend dating you? Oh, my Lord, we ain't going to get into that, honey. She done picked that man over me and my child so many times. It's crazy. Wait, so what well, they have to date? Did they ever date? No, she just felt like that was her friend. And I'm just like, I'm your daughter. And yes, I have a kid by him. So step down on that. But. <laughs> you know Wait, the that problem, was the, was that the mama's uh, man first? Is that what I mean? Nah. She said that the mom, she said that the mom, um, that's a, just a friend, but the mom yeah. is picking him over her. And I'm guessing it's because it's like, yo, I raised a, a 304, you know what I'm saying? And the mom is probably mad at herself. Like, yo, how did I, how did my daughter stoop this low to sleep with this old man and not only sleep with him, but have a baby by him? Mm. Why do these women feel like, yo, you do, ladies, ladies in the chat, ladies in the replay. You do know you can have 
intercourse with a man and not get pregnant. Why are y'all bringing these babies in the world while these men are clearly, they're no good? They, they, I'm, I'm sure this man let her know I'm just here for a good time, not a long time. I think you it's sad. You get this man a whole baby. I think you get this man a whole baby. You know I mean, what I'm you saying? Gotta, you got to look at the whole video. The whole video is, you know, when you ask that question, why would she pick him? You got to look at her self-esteem and her status, what she thinks about herself to attract the man that she's attracting, you know, once again, it's compatibility. She sees a mirror image of herself and thinks it could work. And I think for the males, they see the same thing. Like, you know, she's on my same status level. I think we date in status, status groups, huh? That that should be a, a new coin term, status groups. Or like you said, people that's on the same level, right? They're on the same that, exact They believe they're on the show. same level. Now, you yeah. know, some can grow, but some don't. You, and then some see it. Right, right. Because it's true. You usually meet people where you're at. Right. It was it was crazy. I went to jail. Oh, it was crazy over all that bullshit with them too. It was weird. But no, well, they never flexed around. How, how was it now? <sighs> Man, shit just hit the fan once I had had them. I just found out a lot more than what the fuck I needed to know about that man. And I, it was just too late. Baby mama drama and shit. Like, just too much for me to handle while I'm taking care of the <coughs> other kids and still grieving because, like I said, the shit never gets old. So I just ain't got time for it no more. I'm over it. Okay. Ooh, child, we got a whole backstory. <laughs> what kind of man you looking for, baby girl? Oh my God, the list gonna go on. So, not a liar, no cheaters. Um, <laughs> like, you know, I don't think this woman should honestly be dating. Ever again. I think she needs to focus on, well, at least until her children get older, right? Mm. You know, obviously her picker is off, right? Mm. She's probably still likely at childbearing age where she could possibly get pregnant. I don't remember her age. So the likelihood is she'll keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Not to mention you're on Kendra G looking for a man of all places. You know, there's a lot of work that a woman like that should do. Oof. They should focus on. It's not saying, I don't believe ever again, but at least until them children get older so she don't keep putting the kids through more and more trauma. You're adding into more of the, the, the foolishness that she keeps creating. What do you think about that? Do you, I was about to say, do you think that growth will actually even happen even when she decides to say, hold on, I'm going to wait for the, the dating scene and try to work on myself? Nah. <laughs> you do you, you nah. said nah? <laughs> nah. But <laughs> the good thing is, is that at least you can make the mistake on your own and your children are no longer children to where mm. they can see this foolishness that you keep doing, right? You, mm -hmm. you, you at least give the kids a fighting chance to say, all right, well, at least I ain't seen my mom keep getting her heart break, broken by man after man after man. Then the daughter's going to end up making the same mistake at her, taking no accountability for it then. And then what? So at least if she's older, she can't bring no more children in the world. All she could do is just be, you know, sleep with as many men as you want, old mm -hmm. or young, do whatever you want to do. No accountability. Can't get pregnant. So at least you're not going to continue the foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have that's that, that's just where. Well. Right. My Jama would just justify says if she can't even assess that she's not ready now, later is not guaranteed. I'm going to 100%, especially you bringing kids, kids into it. I agree. I agree. That I agree with, 100%. Let's keep going. Cancel. Okay. That's my friend. She already married, though. But um, <laughs> what kind? Man, just like... Trustworthy. Trustworthy, man, for real. Like, um, what else? Because if I would destroy my whole baby daddy, that's who I don't want. A liar, a cheater, a manipulator. A 
But God, you brought a man, a child into the world with a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, not your husband, blah, 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 blah. All of the above that you have negative to say about a man that you brought. Why didn't she abort mission? If yeah, you know what I mean, I mean. it's going to be some problems with those kids growing up now. It's going to be, there's nothing she can do about it either. Right. Right. Absolutely. And nothing. no man can correct it either. You, she said one was absent. Mm, so that's, that's, <laughs> man, right. catastrophic. I mean, because no, her first baby father actually got, got yeah, deleted. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. He got deleted. So, I, I, and granted, people uh, get deleted in many different ways, but I could only imagine what he may have been into to get deleted. And, I, and I'm trying to judge him by the baby mom he chose to have three kids with. The compatibility to where you think you are. The where right. you think you are. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Do me a favor, y'all. Hit the like button as soon as you come in the door. Share this content. I am on the road to 50 K subscribers. I'm tired of staying at 41,600. I've been there for too long. So, so the question that I have now is say this female right here with no mm -hmm. kids, with, with just the same mindset, with no kids though yet, hasn't had any kids, and is as supposedly bad as that female in the first picture. She meets a dude with power, right? And then does he mold her into a woman in a position of power? Or will she could turn into a chameleon and get with this dude with all the money? Just saying that she dates out of her status because she looks the part, right? Like a scam, basically. Okay. And she gets with this guy with, you know, status, great status, you know, making a lot of money. Um, you know, everything's in check. All the boxes check off for the man. Does he now groom her into a woman in a position of power? Somebody bring him up to his status to where now they can be compatible or does he just drag around the trophy all day? So when you say groom, because I don't believe these, I, I believe she's an older woman, so I don't think she could be groomed. Like usually after a woman becomes a certain age, she tends to kind of be stuck in her ways. As Leon said in the last one, he mm -hmm. said, yo, these old broads can't be groomed. They done. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, I would say after a certain age, but younger women... If you were to date a younger woman and she was a chameleon, I mean, listen, from what I'm gathering of what you're asking, it is 50-50 relationships, meaning that it's always going to be up in the air. You never know what you're going to get. All you could do is take a shot at the dark, right? And hopefully right. this person is there to be genuine. You could grow and build with them, right? So that's really all you could hope for. What up, Serge? That's really all you can hope for is that you, you know, that means chill, chill, son. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah, but that 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 means you know you could you could grow and hopefully you could build with that person, but you never know. So yeah, uh, right, uh, right. Uh, my, uh, a man, a man, I would obviously say that when you are at your top level, I don't really think it's advisable for a man. When you make it to your top level to get married into me. So, so wait, you broke yeah. out. What'd you say? No, we I didn't hear that part. Like when a man makes it to his high level, right? Right. And he is at the top of his game. I don't believe that man should get married today. Not today. Shouldn't get married today when he gets to his high Not level. So he should just have just a, a significant other. That's it. I believe you can have a woman that you rock with, but I don't believe you should put it on paper. Okay. Because times have changed. In the past. Ah, eh, we mm. have to learn that is it worth it or, it or it might not be right but you know today's times nah <laughs> but I do believe that a, a, a man that's working his way up that totem pole climbing that right. ladder yeah you know he could look for that wife and then maybe he will find a woman unlike her <laughs> so where's the max out Where's the max out where you feel like you've achieved enough and you shouldn't marry, you know, when you, you've reached the status and, you know, well, like you were I saying? Would, I would say that's on you, right? I would say that's mm -hmm. on you, the individual, to say you are where you want to be in life, right? Where, mm -hmm. let's say you you set goals, right? Because every, um, 
everybody that's at a high level in life usually set markers and every market that they hit, that's when they're like, I deem myself, you know, here now. So right. when you know you made the height of your game, it might be like, okay, my goal was to make $500,000 a year and you hit that. Mm -hmm. So now you're living in the area you want to live in. You, you know, you could afford to drive the car you want to drive. You're around a different level of people in life. You know, now you hit that mark. Now you can say, all right, do I want to get married? I wouldn't advise that man to. You want to advise? I would not it. really advise that man to. Because nowadays, it's too much of a risk to deal with a possible chick like mm -hmm. this in the video. Or these other chicks who's out here strictly trying to get your bread. It sounds like on your way up is problems. You know, how it goes. How it goes. Yeah. That's how it goes. So let me continue. Let's see what else we got going uh, on. Narcissist. Uh, man, just a fuck nigga. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want no brokies. I don't want no game bangers. I don't want no. And you calling a man broke? I can look at her background. Hold up, let's rewind real yeah. quick. Let's look yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Brown, you could always tell you got the brown cabinets and the white fridge, uh, the yellow tint. <laughs> you know what the I'm saying? Tint. <laughs> right. And you got the nerve to say you don't want a brokey. You got the struggle tattoos. I hate that when women do that. That's the mm -hmm. same mentality of the girl that you see on Instagram in those uh, what is it, them high rises, and they they look like they own that, so they they got their mindset. And they're like, I don't want a brokey, but they broke themselves. They only got money from these dudes being what simps, being simps, paying that bill, super simps, only fans, yeah. only fans, paying for That's it. Great. <laughs> let's 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 end this video off because I got two more slots I want to hit. I want to hit one spot of that last balloon challenge that came out because it is hilarious. Then we got to get into that Meg the Stallion twerking her little tail feather in Atlanta with Kamala Harris. But let's continue with this video. <laughs> I don't want no brokies. I don't want no game bangers. I don't want no weed smokers. I don't want. I want a man. Everything. I'm sorry. I I know. I keep saying I'm gonna keep going, but anytime you hear a lot of women say what they don't want, mm -hmm. that's usually what they're what used they to. So mm -hmm. it's usually what they're used to. So you could tell you don't want no brokey. Okay, so you're used to dealing with brokies. You don't want a gang banger, which is probably what happened to your first baby daddy. And you mm. don't want no dude that smokes, which is the probably both of your baby daddies was probably oh, smoking. So now you saying you want a man after you done drop both. My kid's father. Okay, that's when I was. When was he murdered? Uh, 2017. So the guy you had a two year old baby with, you was never in a relationship. No, we just fucked, and I got pregnant three months later. Yeah. Yeah, sex one time? <laughs> no, we were fucking. We were fucking. Red. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, I got pregnant. Like three months later, I was pregnant. I kept my baby. I don't believe in abortions because I was grown. I knew what, what I was doing. So why kill a baby? Take that responsibility on what you do. With so why not use a condom? I'm done with that. Let's move on to, like, it's literally like, yo, I cannot have sex without getting pregnant. Like, I have to get pregnant. Like she could have at least got an IUD or something. Like, you're something. wild. But you just recklessly allowing these dudes to shoot the whole club up, turn around, dropping these babies, talking about what you don't believe in. All of a sudden, you it's not your body, not your choice anymore. That, that, that does not make any sense. It's your body, your choice when you get pregnant. But before that, you ain't have no choice not to get pregnant. Make it make sense.